Screen. We're switching gears now. Speaking of things to do this weekend, mm. if you're looking for a good movie, we know who to talk to. That's right. Our good friend Chris Lloyd from the Film Yap is here with his reviews of the newest movies hitting theaters, some on streaming. I even think we got a giveaway or something today. Chris, how you doing, man? Hi, Chris. Good to see how you, my are friend. You looking dapper as always. As always. Yes. Good to see you, sir. Very good day for y'all. Yes. You know, we coming out of the gate with Kenny Smith. And I know. This is fun. so exciting. Not too shabby. Yeah, right? pretty cool. All Star Weekend in the city. And as usual, we're taking a look at some of the new movies coming out this weekend. So, what's the first one? Uh, so, the first one up is Bob Marley, One Love. Let's of course, go. this is a biopic of the, the just the incredible uh, musical icon and cultural icon and also political icon. And this movie really kind of focuses not just so much on the music but about how he was as a political activist, mm. his family, his roots, um, and just, you know, of course, does cover some of the big things that happened in his life uh, when he was sh shot. People forget about that. Yeah. A little bit about his, his tragic death at such a young, young age. Gosh. Um, and just, you know, it really sort of just looking at him as the icon. This stars uh, Kingsley Ben Adir in the title role. Okay. You remember him? He played Malcolm X in One Night in Miami a few oh, years okay. ago. So right. now played not one, but two icons. Wow. So uh, kind of a described by our reviewer as just a sort of a standard biopic, but just really elevated by the performances. Kingsley Benadire is terrific in this. Oh gosh, I want to see that. That I looks fantastic. I love Bob Marley. Yeah. I cannot wait to see that one. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to us about the taste of things. So definitely a romantic film. If you didn't get your fill from Valentine's Day the other day, stars Juliette Binoche, the great French actress, and is set in the late uh, 1800s, and it's about a famous chef who has sort of retired to the country a bit, and he and his uh, girlfriend, whatever you want to call it, uh, their relationship began professionally, but sort of melded into something more. Uh, and they just cook all these amazing foods. So this wow. film is just a feast for the senses. <laughs> they bring in this young girl, a uh, teenage girl, as an apprentice uh, who has a gift for the food and the sights and the smells. Yeah. And it's just it's just an ode to sensuality, like only the French can do. That's awesome. Wonderful little film. Like it, only the French yeah. can do. I love the review. It will leave you woozy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that is a good review. Yeah. yeah. So Land of Bad. Okay, I know the title. You're like, what is yeah, Land yeah. of Bad? Uh, but uh, I admit, when I first saw it, it looked like sort of a typical military jingoistic, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, shoots people in the jungle kind of film. But it's actually much smarter and clever than that. It stars Russell Crowe and Liam Hemsworth. Oh, okay. And the idea is that these guys are doing a, a, an operation in the jungle. He, Russell Crowe is the, the man in the chair running the drones, doing the intelligence back at HQ. Uh, and just sort of, you know, subverted a lot of my uh, expectations about the film because it is smart, very tense. Very suspenseful. I definitely recommend this one. Okay, Ooh. land it back. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, next one we have, what is it? Madame Webb. Madame oh. Webb. So this is a superhero movie from the, it's an MCU Sony. It's from the Spider-Man family. Okay. But uh, you may have heard this one is getting absolutely just, just very terrible reviews. Oh. Uh, aggressively nasty reviews, really. That's no fun. Um, and oh, it uh, stars uh, Dakota Johnson. She plays a woman, an EMT in New York City, who finds that she's having the ability to predict events before they happen. And she's uh, hooking up with this trio of teenage girls, and they go on these adventures, trying to take down a bad guy who kind of has some of his mysterious powers of his own. Like I say, this is getting really, really terrible reviews. Our reviewer, <laughs> Alec Al Dooms, actually takes a little bit more favorable. He says, hey, this isn't a good movie, but if you're looking for something that's maybe different from all the Y chromosome, yeah. heavy stuff, more of a very much a female-centric superhero movie, Ooh. he said it is more entertaining than it's being gr given credit for. So, okay. Sounds fair. A, a rare voice of reason out yeah. there. Yeah, I like <laughs> good job, it. Alec Fresh Tunes. perspective. Yeah, yeah. So we do have to mention an Oscar-nominated short or something. Yeah, so the Oscar-nominated short film, so you want to catch those before the Oscars come out and see them all. So they're playing in three different, you know, so the documentary shorts all play together like as one movie, yeah. so okay. it's all shorts, animated shorts, live action shorts. So I'm not going to go through all of these because it's 15 movies. Yeah. Just to mention a few of them, uh, uh, The Last Repair Shop is a really terrific documentary. Yeah. Uh, so go check those out if you love short films and you love really good Oscar-nominated okay. short films. What's new on digital or demand? Uh, we've got, I uh, have to look at my notes real quick because I forgot. Bleeding Love? <laughs> Bleeding Love. I'm yes. sorry I forgot this. So this, okay. this actually all is, yeah. is in some theaters but not locally, so you might have to catch it on VOD on demand. Okay. This stars Ewan McGregor. And he's starring in this movie with his real-life daughter, Clara. Cool. And she actually co-wrote the story for this movie. It's about uh, a father and daughter, both who have um, addiction in their, in their lives. They're both on recovery journeys, although obviously at very different points. He's taking her across country to get help, and they've been, they're trying to reconnect. Just a very spare, tender-hearted film. Uh, some in interesting adventures and characters they meet along the way. I enjoy this one a lot. Just really authentic uh, and a good movie. And I love seeing, I love parent child pairings on film, yeah. like on Golden Pond with yeah. the Fondas and like that. That's cool. So I thought it worked really, really well. 
That yeah. seems like a really good one. One last thing to mention, we, a promo right we here. We do have to yes. mention, believe it or not, it's the 40th anniversary <laughs> of Footloose. Wow. 40th. 40th, if you can believe it. So it's out wow. in a cool 40th edition Blu-ray, and we are giving away copies of that. Uh, so if you want it, you know, everybody cut. Everybody cut. Everybody cut. You got to <laughs> got, got get in on this one. Just a fun movie with also some social commentary. People forget yeah. about that. And Kenny Loggins wrote a jam oh. for that song. Yeah, Kevin Bacon. Such a classic. Man, good times. Okay, and so uh, how can people follow along and subscribe, Chris? Head on over to filmyap.substack.com. You can just read it like a website. Or better yet, yeah. hit that subscribe button and you can see all of our content and promotions that we do in your email box the minute they're published. That's I awesome. love when it goes to my email because then I know exactly what to watch. Yep. Thank you Thanks, so Chris. much, Chris. We Wonderful. appreciate you. Yeah, well, coming up next, the team from Balance Friends is going to teach us how to detox heavy metals from our system and rebalance important minerals for our health. The song right now, yeah. that's killing me. We have more Indie Now coming up right after this. A little Metallica, figure we're talking heavy metals. Throw, <laughs> throw some Enter Sandman in. <laughs>